Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our biceps and shoulders again. Going to start off with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side. As I mentioned always in all my videos, we have to ensure we get at least 2-5 to five minutes of dynamic stretching before we start with our regular workouts. This is pre-warm up. Yes, you may go ahead and do a couple of minutes of cardio to just get your heart rate up but dynamic stretching is quite vital to overall improve your mobility during the weightlifting sessions now i prefer to do the greatest stretch because it's kind of a compound movement lets me go through the entire all my body joints in one flow of motion so i prefer to do that before performing any kind of exercise now, post completing the greatest stretch, we move on to the deep squat, pushing our glutes back, feeling the hamstring stretch, and then slowly sit down in a deep squat, stay there for a few seconds, let our hips stretch, and once done, we can begin with our exercises. Before starting off with the first working set, I did a mobility drill always for shoulders. I prefer to do at least one or two mobility drills before I can kick off. So what I've done is basically around me plate rotations now i've done two sets of these each side 10 10 repetitions so starting from right reaching the left and then reaching uh, starting from the left reaching the right so those are total 20 rotations and i've done that twice to just warm up my shoulder take it through the entire range of motion in terms of internal and external rotation and get ready for the all weightlifting movements which i have to do with my delts one of the reasons I prefer to do this is because most of us throughout our day keep our shoulders locked up in some or other position either while sleeping or at a desk or doing with some other kind of work unless until we are quite athletic. So doing such a warm up helps us mobilize our shoulders properly before we can kick start our weightlifting sessions. Now for the first exercise I am going to do the cable lateral races 3 sets 20 repetitions full range of motion with 45 to 60 seconds break in between now as you can see i have taken the cables in front of me and i ensured that the cable is set up in such a way even when my arms cross each other at the lowest point the cable is still under tension so the stick cable is still pushing or sorry pulling on my arms so there's a stretch being created in my delt and from there when i engage my delts to let the or raise the cable high up I'm doing a lot of work. There's a lot of tension getting built up in my side delts. So great amount of work being done as you can see here. Now make sure you go through the repetitions as slowly as possible and as controlled manner as possible, especially the descent. When you go up, yes, you're using the force, you're going up while during the descent, the eccentric part of the motion, try to control it from up till at least the mid range from mid range yes it will be quite difficult to control and also sometimes the load might come onto your elbows so you can let it drop a little bit quicker but up to mid range is wherein you get the most amount of growth post completing those we can just stay at the same equipment and start off with high cable curls remember this is one of the best exercises which i have recently had a lot of bicep growth quickly and i give a lot of credit to this particular exercise because it helps me get my biceps extremely full of blood and the pump going on right in the beginning itself three sets 20 repetitions each arm we while switching from one arm to the other we don't take a break the part we have to ensure like i always mention and as you can see here keep your body turned away from your bicep so basically you're creating a stretched position at your chest and shoulder joint so your bicep is basically entirely lengthened and from there you start doing the curls now you also want the cable to be in constant tension so the cable is never resting it's constantly being pulled i mean i don't know if it is going to make a great deal of difference but i never like my weight sitting down while i'm using cable or equipment based exercises post completing our high cable curls we move on to shoulder work again this time again lateral raises because as i mentioned in my previous videos i'm trying to get my shoulders as broad as possible and that i can do by building a great amount of lateral delts basically the side delts or the mid delts 
So we're going to spam our delts with as many lateral raises as possible in as many variations as possible in a, with as much load as possible. Three sets, 20 repetitions with dumbbells, full range of motion. I have done this in my previous videos also. Take the dumbbells all the way up and then slowly come down. Control the range of motion as much as possible from top to mid range like you did on the cables. Yes, the strength curve will be different. You can also use straps and gloves to help you hold on to the dumbbell quite comfortably while you're doing this raises because grip strength is not quite important or we don't want grip strength to compromise the repetitions. So we want those 20 repetitions to come in and you can clearly see here how my side delt is working really hard to pull the weight up and then control the weight down. Make sure you take 45 to 60 seconds of break in between. Anything more than that is not required because we are not lifting extremely heavy amount of weight. The next exercise is inclined bench dumbbell curls. Three sets, 20 repetitions. We are going high on volume, not so heavy on the weight, but those 20 repetitions should feel challenging. So 15 to 20 should be extremely challenging. You would not be actually hitting failure at the 20th rep, but it should be near failure that if you try to go any for any more repetitions out of that you should not be able to move your move the weight without losing your form now for incline bench dumbbell curls pretty easy setup set yourself on an incline bench lay back if the bench allows you to keep your feet down it's okay if not you can just leave your feet hanging up as i am doing here just keep your arms completely stretched out on your sides and then from there do regular curls it will be a bit challenging because we have already done a lot of shoulder work and the lengthened high cable curls have already caused a lot of fatigue to your biceps. So this would be more challenging. So keep the weight not extremely heavy. We just want to get as many repetitions as possible in a very controlled manner. And you can see here, great job done. I was able to achieve good amount of bicep pump, a lot of blood rush and I was feeling great after this set. The next set, we are going to do ray delt flies on the fly machine. Now, the way I set myself here is I have seated, I, have, I basically sat extremely far behind and completely leaned forward so I can get as much full range of motion as possible. And you can see the way I position myself itself is causing my ray delt to pop out as it is pretty clear. I mean, you can't miss it. So... When I do that, my ray delt is completely under tension and as I go all the way ahead, it's getting stretched out. And from there, when I try to push it all the way behind, it's getting complete amount of contraction. Yes, your traps are also getting contracted, but trust me, your ray delts would burn out quite before that because of the way we position ourselves. So make sure you lean forward, sit as far behind as possible. And from there, have the bars as far away from you as possible so we want that full range of motion wherein we create a big circle or the half circle with the movement of the fly machine handles after completing the ray delt work we move back to bicep now this time actually i did a superset now you need not do a superset i did this because i was running short on time but here is what i have done i have did a superset of reverse grip curls and overhead raises so three sets, 20 repetitions, quickly switching between each other. For reverse grip curls, it's very simple. Take a barbell, easy bar or a straight bar. Just hold it with your palms facing down. So reverse grip, more of your forearms working and your break eye muscle. And from there, just churn out 20 repetitions in as much controlled manner as possible. And once done, if you're also running short of time, quickly switch the grip into regular grip. And start doing overhead races with the same bubble. Now the benefit is, yes, you will burn yourself out very quickly and three sets of these could be very punishing. Now, but if you have time, you need not do it as a super set. You can finish off your reverse grip curls, three sets, and then move into your overhead races and finish off with this particular exercise. I try to keep this entire workout as precise as possible, focusing more on getting as much blood flow as possible into my bicep and shoulder muscles the emphasis i have done is on my lateral delt to give my arms a little bit more volume as you can see it is it was clearly working there was a lot of blood rush into my arms and they were clearly pumped up heavy 
and that's it we are done with the exercising bit we are going to finish off with a simple vertical hang to basically decompress our shoulders and also create a little bit of stretch in our bicep muscle you if you're not able to do it for a minute you can also do it 30 seconds once take a 10 second break and then go hang again for 30 seconds if you have trouble on your calluses or in your palm strength like me you can also use a little bit of cushioning material or straps or gloves to help you a little bit better and that's it we are done for today i hope the workout was really good for you thank you for watching the video if you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and if you have any comments please do share so that i can either learn or take some ideas from you thank you once again for watching have a good day i will see you in the next video